Okay, so actually, here's what we can do for this. We can try to, let's see, let's try um, exiting. We're going to try opening it again and doing a plane in the middle. Um, <clears throat> let's go to sketch. Sketch it on the right plane, maybe. No, we're going to sketch on the top. No, okay, let's see. <clears throat> Should be on the right, we want to sketch it on, so. If we go to sketch view, I don't know why it keeps doing this. Let's check out our plane display. We can what we can do here. Let's create a plane. Here we go. We want to create an offset from that half the distance between which is going to be 3. Sorry, -3. Bam. So that's good, we got that, and then <clears throat> we can go ahead and save, save this, we're going to go, and, okay, so now we have play display on, we can use that, and we can fully, finally fully constrain it, alright, so we can go, here and we can go to <coughs> that will be constrained with that sorry it took so long but that is how we constrain it we constrain the planes to be coincident and let's get rid of that so that is what we want for our assembly. So that's good. We can go ahead and save that. And we're going to save it to exam two. <coughs> and what we want to do is also create an exploded view. So what, how we can do that is we can go to view manager. And we can go to explode. We're going to go to edit and we're going to go to new, we're going to just call this A or whatever you want, and edit position, so you click on what you want to move, and you want to move just that back like that, you can click this magnifying glass to kind of put it in the position you want. So as it's saying, this is exploded state A. So that's pretty much what we see in the drawing. We're going to go ahead and save that. And we can also call this, um, we can add 
a new orientation view um, so that it's easier to so it looks like the what we want in our drawing so we're going to call that A perfect go ahead and save that so now we are just going to do our uh, BOM table and so what I also forgot to do um, you need to go to back to model intent parameters and just like we did for the main body we're going to add the um, part number and price for um, the spring so we have part number and that's going to be uh, just kidding part underscore number and you want to be consistent with the name it's going to be like sa the same thing for both of them so it's going to be not a real number but an integer we're going to call it a002 so go ahead and click designate for that and it is no it's not an integer sorry it is a string and it is once again a002 okay and then we're gonna do same thing for price price like we did before and it's a real number and the price of the spring is 15 and then you can go ahead and designate it okay so that's what we want we're just gonna go ahead and save that we're gonna go ahead and open up the um main body just to double check we have the same parameters yep so we should be good to go for that and so yeah so let's do let's go ahead and make our drawing for this assembly so we're going to go to drawing call it exam 2 um and let's see we're going to go ahead and do yeah common name exam two so that's that format we're gonna get our format for spring like we did before so it's under here we're just gonna go ahead wherever you say it did before and there we go And so first, we're just going to go ahead and do the exploded view first, so we're going to do A, which we have made already, so that makes it easier for us, so that's why we did that. Apply scale, the custom scale, we're going to change to 0 0.6, that's what they have here. Apply, that looks about the right size. And then we go to view, no, visible, somewhere here. Um, here we go, view states, exploded view, we called it A, go ahead and hit apply, <clears throat> um, and should come up, let's go ahead and try to repaint, so, if it doesn't come up, go ahead and check on the assembly to see if there's anything we did wrong, but, let's see. Uh, I see what we did. So, um, let me plug in my charger one second. It, my laptop is dying. <coughs> All right, that's better. Okay, so one critical thing we forgot to do is we forgot to hit save when we made our exploded state so that's something that's important it will not show up on the drawing if we don't hit save so we had hit save good to go now we hit close and we should go back to our thing and there we go so it comes up we're gonna lock the commitment we're just gonna move it up a little bit 
Yep. And one thing that they have is they have hidden, no hidden lines, but we're going to change that. So there you go. That is how you get the exploded view. Perfect. Um, and we can go ahead. If you want to edit a little bit more, you can go ahead and edit in here. Change the position around. Save it as a different orientation. You can do that. We can also go to manage views to do that. And you can go to orientation. Edit. And you can make a, make a new one. You can call it B if you want. And you can easily change that that way. Um, but that's just something that if you really wanted to make it look exactly like it, you can keep changing that around. Anyway, so that's that. We're going to save that. And that's what we want for our exploded view. We're going to make another sheet and... This one is going to have our bill of materials table, our dot .bom, and no, we don't want that. Oh, I'm sorry. General view. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So. What we want is, we want the non exp is happening um okay first we want to label it so let's call it b and we want to have our scale of 0 0.65 0 0.65 hit apply and we also do not want the exploded view we just want the thing we want just the regular assembly perfect now you're gonna go ahead and hit okay Move this up a little bit so we have room for our BOM. Perfect. So, what we can do here is go and um, add our build materials table. So, what that's going to be, I'm going to go ahead and go to table. And, um, yeah, you're going to go ahead and insert table we're gonna make it from this corner here and we're gonna have how many rows how many columns we're gonna have five columns and we're gonna have two rows right so now it is good to go we can make it here so we're gonna go ahead I'll show you how to edit the size of it in the end, but it's going to be here. It's close enough. And what we're going to do here now is we're going to um, make, our, make our table. So we're going to start by... <clears throat> 